in the currency quadrant, taking a look at the British pound future. The September British pound future is lower again, dropping for the fifth day in the last sixth and the eighth day in the last 10. The pound is also working on its third down week in the last four weeks and its seventh down month in the last eight months. Today, at about the New York close, we were down still about a quarter of a percent, back below 118, 117.93 or so. And on the low, we were down a little bit more than a half of 1% at about 117.60. Not much on the upside today, just short of two tenths of 1% at about 118.43. Now, UK inflation is the biggest concern. And after we saw those S&P PMI figures yesterday, they were actually the strongest of the large economies that we saw. If you looked at Germany's, the EU as a collective, or even the US, the UK actually had the strongest ones with their service sector and their composite PMI still in positive territory. But that inflation pressure and the lower manufacturing PMI, which was in contraction territory, last UK inflation reading 10.1, City has put a note out that it expects UK inflation to hit 18% in January. So despite already being in double digits, many analysts think it's going to continue to rise. And that's put pressure on the pound while raising yields. Now, why is that? Well, UK yields on a 10-year level is at its highest since about 2014. And on a two-year, it's at its highest since about 2008, 2007 on the 10 year, I'm sorry, 2.7% on the 10 year, 2.94% on the two year. So there's that inversion with again, the prediction of a recession coming with inflation still entrenched. So the Bank of England can't really be as aggressive as the US Fed, which has weakened the pound because if they get aggressive, they're gonna take an already weak economy due to some of the energy price hikes they've already seen and the more that are coming, take an already weak economy into a much weaker stance, yet they can't really fight inflation without being aggressive on interest rates. So that uncertainty continues to drive the pound lower.